Hi there, it's Coach Yvonne here, and um, I want to share some um, points from my relationship roundtable discussion over the weekend that a friend invited me to. One of the things that a black man said to me at that discussion to me is representative, representative of why the black community is in the state that it's in as it relates to relationships. I'm going to read what he said to me. He said if he meets a woman in her mid-30s and she's single and she's never been engaged and she doesn't have any kids, he thinks something's wrong with her. And more than likely he won't talk to her, but he would be more likely to talk to a woman that's a single mother. Now, am I the only one that sees something wrong with this thought process? When he said that to me, um, I just had to shake my head because... You know, I'm single, I don't have any kids, and I've never been married. And to think that it's possible that men would think that something's wrong with me because I have a standard of marriage, then a baby carriage is representative of what's wrong in our community. And that is why we're not getting married. If women don't have standards and they're willing to live with a man without a license, have kids out of wedlock and not require anything to be with them, then we're going to continue this vicious cycle. I believe that we need to have more women like myself that are saying no, that are not settling for what's unacceptable. Yes, if we wanna have relationships, we are going to have to settle on someone, but I believe that there are things in our community that have become too acceptable and having babies out of wedlock is one of them you know in the may issue of essence magazine they posed this question um why don't we get married and then a few pages down they talk about jill scott and the fact that she wanted to be married she wasn't she was married for five years her marriage broke up because her career began to blossom and and i i don't understand that but that's another conversation for another vlog but then it goes on to say she was yearning to have a child. And the man that she picked to have a child with, they got engaged and they got into this fantasy relationship. And he already had three kids from three different women. You see, to me, that's a bad man choice. That's a bad choice of someone to have a child with. Because a man that already has three kids from three different women, he's telling you about himself. And now you're the fourth woman with the fourth kid and you've broken up and now you are a part of the statistic in the black community. And this guy that I'm talking to is going to say that you're a better look than I am. And I got a real problem with that. So I think that if we're ever going to solve any of the problems in the black community, we need to shift our thinking and we need to really look at what we're elevating and what we're putting down. Because to put down a woman and to say that there's something wrong with her and to look at her sideways because she wants to do things the right way, because she doesn't want to contribute to the, to the statistic, because she does demand marriage, you know, because she does want to have a relationship and she will not settle for less than what she knows she deserves. And she has realistic expectations. I think there's something wrong with that. Uh, Dennis Kimbrough said it best when he said uh, when black men step up to the plate and begin to marry black women then we can begin to solve the problems in our community but I gotta, but I gotta tell you ladies this black men aren't going to marry us if we don't have a requirement and a standard that we that that they do as long as we're willing to shack up and give away free milk and push out babies and and basically keep a man in a non-committal state then we're going to get more of the same think about it